Muy bien. Señora, ah, Lázaro, solamente está anunciando el caso y en un momento le indico cuando ya empecemos. Un momento. Council ok, gracias. Council, uh -huh. make your appearances. Allison Kapol, here on behalf of the plaintiffs. And I'm Cass Karamidis, here on behalf of the defendant. I'm Fabiola Segovia, the guardian ad litem. Let's proceed. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Can we swear in Ms. Nuna, uh, Ms. Don Juan so we can uh, have her testify? Ma'am, please raise your right hand. Señora, por favor, levante usted su mano derecha. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and anything about the truth? Señora, usted jura y afirma que el testimonio que está a punto de dar va a ser la verdad, toda la verdad, y solamente la verdad lo jura. Lo juro. I swear. Gracias. Puede bajar la mano. Gracias. Oh, and have you guys emailed Rhonda yet the uh, proposed judgment? Yes, uh, she should have it. Rhonda, go ahead and forward that to me if you haven't. No, there it is. Okay, go ahead. And, I just have the guardian ad litem fees. I don't have the actual judgment. Okay. Rhonda, go ahead and for, check your email and, and forward me that if you haven't already. All right, you may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Ms. Don Juan, are you the uh, uh, guardian at, guardian for uh, minors OA and AA, Omar and Ashley? Señora Don Juan, usted es la madre, muy madre en la guardián de lo que son los menores Omar y Ashley, OA y AA. Sí, sí, soy la mamá de yes, OA, AA. Mm -hmm. I am their mother for OA and AA. Um, and I'm going to uh, speak regarding AA first. Bien, vamos a hablar entonces primero de la menor AA. Do you understand that we're here to ask the court to approve a settlement uh, for the minor Ashley? Señora, usted entiende que el día de hoy nosotros estamos aquí para pedirle al tribunal, al señor juez, que apruebe una propuesta de liquidación para la menor, para Ashley. Sí. Yes. And Ashley was involved in a motor vehicle collision back on March 23rd of 2021. Is that correct? Um, Ashley se vio involucrada en lo que fue un accidente automovilístico el 23 de marzo del 2020. Did you say 21? Yes. Thank you. Sí. Del 2021, señora, ¿verdad? Sí, es verdad. Yeah. That's true. And at the time of the collision, she was 16 years old and is currently 17 years old. Cuando ocurrió el choque, ella tenía 16 años de edad y presentemente tiene 17. Sí, así es. That's right. And did she sustain injuries in the motor vehicle collision? Señora, ¿ella sufrió lesiones en ese accidente automovilístico? Sí, pero no tan graves. Yes, sí. yeah. yes but not so serious, but uh, yes. Uh, and she was sore, she experienced soreness throughout her body as well as some right pain. Ella estuvo adolorida en su cuerpo y también sintió dolor en la parte derecha de su cuerpo. Sí. Yes. Um, and as a result of those injuries, she sought medical treatment. Como resultado de esas lesiones, ella buscó tratamiento médico. Terapia. Mm -hmm. Therapy. Um, and is Ashley in reasonably good health today? Ashley se encuentra razonablemente en buen estado de salud el día de hoy. Sí, gracias a Dios. Yes, thank God, yes. Um, and you understand that we're asking the court to approve a settlement in the amount of $5,000. Señora, usted entiende que nosotros estamos aquí para pedirle al tribunal que apruebe la liquidación o esta propuesta en la cantidad de $5,000. Sí. Yes. And earlier we discussed that settlement and how it broke, how, how the settlement breaks down. Um, and you're you're in agreement with how it's going to how it's going to break down. Señora, nosotros anteriormente ya habíamos conversado sobre cómo se iba a distribuir esa cantidad y usted está de acuerdo en la forma en que se va a tener que distribuir. Sí. Yes. Specifically, you understand out of the five thousand dollars, two thousand dollars will go towards fielding law for attorney fees. Específicamente, usted entiende de los cinco mil dólares, dos mil dólares se va a ir al bufete de fielding por uh, honorarios a los abogados. Sí. Yes. And um, $50 will go towards 
DFW open MRI for the x-rays that um, Ashley received. Y también la cantidad de 50 dólares se va a ir a op DFW open MRI por unos rayos X que Ashley recibió. Sí. Yes. And $70 will go towards the radiologists for those x-rays, uh, Singleton Associates. Y 70 dólares se va a ir al el Departamento de, Radio de Radiología en Singleton and Associates. Sí. Yes. And $200 will go to McKinney Injury Rehab and Chiropractic for the chiropractic treatment she received. Y también $200 se va a ir al o a la entidad de McKinney Injury Rehab por el, la terapia que ella recibió, el tratamiento que recibió. Sí. Yes. And $750 will go to Epic Pain and Orthopedics for the treatment she received through their office. También la, la cantidad de $750 se va, a ir el, se va a ir a la entidad de Epic Pain and Orthopedics por el tratamiento que ella recibió en la oficina de ellos. Mm -hmm. Señora? Sí. Yes. Sí. And you understand that the, the amount that Ashley will receive is $1,930. Usted entiende, señora, que la cantidad que queda para Ashley va a ser la cantidad de $1,930. dólares. Sí. Yes. Um, and you are asking the court to approve for Ashley's funds to go to fielding law to be held in our trust until she turns 18 on September 28th, which is next week. Usted está pidiendo, le está pidiendo al tribunal y está de acuerdo en que la cantidad que Ashley va a recibir se vaya con Fielding Law, que lo pongan en un fondo hasta que ella cumpla la mayoría de edad de 18 años, que sería el 28 de septiembre, cual es la próxima semana. Sí. Yes. Uh, and do you understand that this settlement for Ashley is full and final, meaning you can't come back um, and she can't come back asking for additional funds due to her injuries? ¿Usted entiende, señora, que esta propuesta de liquidación, si se aprueba, es lo último, lo final? Ella no puede regresar, ni usted ni ella pueden regresar y pedir más dinero por las lesiones. No, sí entiendo. No, I do understand. And are you asking the court to approve the settlement as uh, broken down earlier? ¿Usted le está pidiendo al tribunal que apruebe esta propuesta de liquidación así como nosotros se lo estamos pidiendo un poquito más temprano? Sí. Yes. And uh, do you believe that this settlement is in Ashley's best interest? ¿Usted siente, señora, piensa que esta liquidación es en el mejor interés de Ashley? Sí. Yes. Plaintiff will uh, pass the witness with regards to questioning on Ashley's settlement. Un momento, señora. Cedo el testigo. Mm -hmm. go, go ahead and do both of them now. Okay. Um, and Ms. Don Juan, are you the mother of Omar? Señora Don Juan, usted también es la, es la madre de Omar. Sí. Yes. Soy la mamá de Omar. I am Omar's mother. And he was involved in the same collision as Ashley? Él estuvo involucrado en el mismo choque que Ashley. Sí. Yes. At the time of the collision, he was 11 years old and is 13 years old today. Cuando ocurrió el choque, él tenía 12 años y tiene ahora 13 años. Sí. Yes. Um, and you understand that the offer for Omar's case is $30,000? Usted entiende que la oferta para el caso de Omar son $30,000. Sí. Yes. Um, and I'm going to go through a, a specific breakdown um, asking about the different payments to the medical providers. Yo le voy a dar a usted específicamente las cantidades, los montos que se le va a pagar a diferentes proveedores médicos. Mm -hmm. oh, está so, bien. That's fine. First, first, you understand that the attorney fees are, are, uh, were reduced to one third, which is $10,000 of, of the settlement. Antes que nada, usted entiende que los honorarios de, de los abogados se hizo una reducción a un tercio, el cual sería $10,000 de esa cantidad de $30,000. ¿Usted lo entiende? Sí. Yes. And you understand that $2,542 will be paid to Quest Care Medical Services. Usted entiende que la cantidad de $2,542 se le va a pagar al Departamento Médico de Quest Medical Services. Sí. Yes. $6,191.35 will be paid to Medical City McKinney. La cantidad de $6,000. 191 con 35 centavos o 30 centavos se le va a pagar al centro médico de McKinney. 
al hospital. Sí. Yes. $600 will be paid to Texas Healthcare Neck and Back. $600 se le va a pagar a Texas Healthcare Neck and Back. Okay. Sí. Okay. Yes. $75 will be paid to Singleton Associates. $75 se le va a pagar a Singleton en asociados. Mm -hmm. Señora. Sí. Sí. Yes. $125 will be paid to Radiology Associates of North Texas. $125 se le va a pagar al Departamento de Radiología de North Texas. Sí. Yes. $1,225 will be paid to Epic Pain and Orthopedics. La cantidad de, de $1,225 se le va a pagar a Epic Pain and Orthopedics. Sí. Yes. $100 will be paid to DFW Open MRI. $100 se le va a pagar a DFW Open MRI. Sí. Yes. $1,122 will be paid to Medical City Dallas Hospital. $1,122 se le va a pagar a Medical City Dallas Hospital. Sí. Yes. $694 will be paid to City of McKinney for the ambulance ride. $694 se le va a pagar a la ciudad de McKinney por el ride de la ambulancia. Sí. Yes. And then $1,750 will be paid to the Rawlings Company, which is... Um, Collecting on behalf of uh, Omar's insurance uh, policy, health insurance that had made medical payments. La cantidad de $1,750 se va a depositar con Rawlings Com Company, que es la compañía que está recaudando los fondos de parte de Omar para hacer los pagos. Okay, sí. Okay. Yes. And you understand that the total medical bills that will be paid is $14,424.35. Usted entiende, señora, que la cantidad total de cuentas médicas que se está pagando en este caso es de 14,424,25 centavos. Sí. Yes. And you understand that um, $328.33 will be paid to fielding law for case expenses, which comprised of um, the different medical providers obtaining the bills and records for Omar. Usted entiende, señora, también que la cantidad de 328 dólares con 33 centavos se le va a pagar a Fielding Law por los gastos en este caso que se hicieron, por ejemplo, cosas que tuvieron que ver con el, uh, los récords médicos y los proveedores médicos para poder obtenerlos. ¿Usted entiende eso? Sí. Yes. And you understand that $5,247.32 will be paid to the registry of the court for Omar to obtain once he turns 18. Usted entiende, señora, que entonces eh, la cantidad de 5,247 con 32 centavos se le va a depositar a Omar en el registro, lo que es la cuenta del tribunal, para que él pueda tener acceso a eso cuando él cumpla la mayoría de edad de 18 años. Sí. Yes. And you understand that as a result of this collision, Omar sustained uh, compression fractures to his T3, T4, and T5 spine. Usted entiende, señora, que o sabemos que como resultado de este choque, Omar sufrió unas fracturas de compresión en lo que era el T4 y el T5 de su espalda. Sí. Yes. And you understand he had uh, an abrasion to his scalp as well as neck and uh, back pain. Usted también sabe y entiende que él tuvo una abrasión en lo que era el cráneo, también dolor en la espalda y en la nuca. Sí. Yes. And how is Omar doing today? ¿Cómo se encuentra Omar el día de hoy? Bien, gracias a Dios, bien. Fine, thank God, fine. Um, are you asking for the court to approve this settlement on behalf of Omar? Señor, usted le está pidiendo al tribunal que apruebe esta propuesta de liquidación de parte de Omar. Sí. Yes. Um, and you understand that uh, the funds uh, for both Ashley and Omar B need to deposited into the registry of the court or to our to fielding laws trust account is for the interest is for Omar and Ashley and is not for you. Señora, usted entiende que la cantidad del monto que se está de, se depositando para los menores, para Ashley y para, para Omar, ya sea que esté en el registro del tribunal, en la cuenta del tribunal o que esté depositado con la el bufete legal de fielding law para ella. Usted entiende que ese dinero, ese monto, es para ellos y no para usted. 
Sí. Yes. Sí, sí, entiendo. Uh, I understand. Okay. And are you asking for the court to approve this full and final settlement for Omar? ¿Le está usted pidiendo al tribunal al señor juez que apruebe esta propuesta de liquidación completamente para Omar? Sí. Yes. Plaintiff, your honor, or, your honor, plaintiff will pass the witness. Muy bien, señora, se el testigo un momento. Gracias. Gracias. Mr. Karamidis. Do you have any questions, Mr. Karamidis? Let me unmute myself. Sorry. Uh, I just have a few questions, Your Honor. Uh, my name is Cass Karamidis. Muy bien, señora. El señor Karamidis, el abogado, tiene unas cuantas preguntas para, one, para usted. Dice él, me llamo Cass Karamidis. Right. Gracias. Thank you. I was asked by uh, the other person's insurance company to uh, be involved in dispersing the settlement funds in this case. Señora, a mí me pidió la compañía de seguros de la otra persona que yo estuviera involucrado en lo que era la distribución de fondos, el monto en este caso. Okay. Okay. Right. And we have done that, correct? We have gotten to this point where we are we're agreeing to this judgment and we are going to uh, disperse the funds to you and your attorney. Nosotros ya llegamos hasta este punto, correcto? Nosotros ya estamos aquí al punto de poder llegar al acuerdo y distribuir los fondos, el monto para usted y su abogado. Okay. Okay. Are you uh, satisfied with the job that your attorney has done in this case? ¿Está usted satisfecha con el trabajo que le ha dado o hecho su abogado aquí en este caso? Sí. Yes. Are you also uh, satisfied with the job that the guardian ad litem has done in this case? También está usted satisfecha, señora, con el trabajo que ha hecho la abogada ad litem, la abogada guardián para los niños en este caso. Sí. Yes. Did you have an opportunity prior to the, the hearing today to meet with the guardian ad litem? Tuvo usted la oportunidad antes del día de hoy de reunirse con la abogada guardián, la abogada ad litem. Tuvo uh, la oportunidad de reunirse, de hablar con ella. Sí. Yes. Okay. And both the guardian ad litem and your own attorney, they've gone over the terms of the agreement, correct? Y tanto la señorita, abogada ad litem de los niños, como su abogada de usted, ya ellas revisaron lo que es el acuerdo, la propuesta de liquidación con usted, ¿cierto? Sí. Yes. And you're of the opinion that the settlement agreement is uh, in the best interest of your children to go ahead and settle their claims? Usted, señora, tiene la opinión y siente que esta propuesta de liquidación es en el mejor interés de sus hijos para terminar y liquidar este caso. Sí. Yes. And you understand that it's a full and final settlement of your children's claims. ¿Usted entiende, señora, que este es una propuesta, una liquidación completa y final en el caso de reclamo que tienen sus hijos? ¿Usted entiende que esto es el fin? Sí. Yes. Nothing further. No tengo nada más. Un momento. Ms. Segovia. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I would like to give my report to the court. Oh, do you have any questions first? Oh, no, I do not. No questions. Okay. okay. I do have some questions before you give your report. I just want to make sure I'm kind of understanding all this. Okay. So uh, typically on minor prove-ups, we only approve a one-third fee, and it looks like as to one of the minors, AA, it was a 40% fee. Uh, is there something special about this case that it would be a 40% fee? Ms. Kapal or Ms. Scovia? Uh, Your Honor, that, that was, uh, this was a case that we had filed a lawsuit on, and in light of the work that we provided on the case, we kept it at 40%, uh, which was approved by the guardian of Lytham. Okay. Uh, We'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that. The other issue is the medical expenses. Were those the reduced amount or were the medical expenses reduced at all? Uh, yes, the medical expenses were reduced. Um, the health insurance made some payments 
Um, some payments were not made by health insurance. Um, in particular, um, the hospital bills, the Medical City McKinney bill of $93,000, um, we reduced, we were able to obtain a reduction down to that $6,000 amount okay. um, after a lot of back and forth. Um, and there was some, some of the bills were paid by health insurance, some had co-pays and some had um, amounts still owed. Um, but in particular, the Medical City McKinney bill, that one was the was the biggest one that we were able to get a significant reduction on it after a lot of back and forth with them. And there's a $30,000 settlement. Is that the policy limits? Yes, Your Honor. Is there any UIM or PIP? No, Your Honor. Okay. And no other sources of recovery? No, Your Honor. Like Mr. Ledesma, for example, wasn't in the course and scope of his employment or anything like that? Uh, to our knowledge, he was not, Your Honor. Okay. So the the fourteen thousand four hundred twenty four dollars is after some fairly extensive reductions. It sounds like on the medicals. Yes, in addition to the health insurance lien, um, I think the smallest reduction obtained was twenty two percent because the um, one of the providers was pretty difficult to work with after a lot of back and forth, but the rest of them were significant reductions. Okay. Um, Ms. Segovia, I know you haven't done a lot of prove ups with me. The Typically, I'm not going to approve a, uh, attorney's fees of 40%. So just, uh, I don't know if you knew that or not, but I don't typically approve that. So if you want to kind of, if there's a reason, there's some special reason it's, it's rare, uh, then I'd like to hear it. But if you may not be aware of that's kind of my policy. I was not aware, Your Honor. Okay. Go ahead and make your report. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, I met, uh, I spoke to Ms. Nunez multiple times about this case um, since I was appointed. Um, we talked about the, both of the minors medical treatment. Uh, as to AA, she had minimal treatment. She has completely recovered. Um, the, I have reviewed the medical bills and the reductions. They were all reduced, uh, as to OA, he had extensive treatment, even though he had, um, the $30,000 settlement, his fractures were treated and the mother has confirmed that he has completely recovered. He's back to normal activity. Uh, there are no outstanding medical bills not included in counsel's list uh, that she went through earlier, and he does not have any pending doctor's appointments. Mm -hmm. um, the health insurance lien was greatly reduced. And uh, the issue with uh, uh, AA's settlement to be uh, issued to the attorney's office, we I, I know usually this they are not released to, to the attorney's office. However, in the interest of creating, uh, not creating any unnecessary work for the court, um, the checks will probably arrive after the AA's 18th birthday anyway. Um, yeah, I, I don't usually allow to go to the attorneys, but given the fact that the child's about to turn 18, that's fine. So that, uh, that makes perfect sense to me. That is all I have. I do recommend the settlements to the court. Um, I will amend my report uh, after speaking with you, you and with counsel about the 40% fee and I will resubmit the report. Other than that, I do recommend the settlement and the disbursement to the uh, attorney's office for AA and to the registry of the court for OA. I do believe the settlements are in the best interests of the minor children, and I would respectfully ask the court to approve this settlement at this time. Mr. Karamides, have you already cut the checks on these or what's the status? I don't believe so. Allison, do you think that we have? I don't think so. I don't think that you guys have yet. I mean, I, I will say that that's typically my policy is that uh, it's a one third fee. It's not a huge difference in money. 
Uh, are you going to need to get approval for that, Ms. Kapal? No, Your Honor. Um, and I can give you the new numbers if that helps. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I just calculated them out. So the offer is five thousand. The new attorney fee at one third is one thousand six hundred sixty-six dollars and sixty-seven cents. The amount for medical providers stays the same at $1,070, and the total to Ashley will be $2,263.33. All righty, and has there been a discussion, Mr. Karamitas, about Ms. Segovia's fees? I believe so. Uh, we had down it was $2,500. Any objection to that? No. All right. Do you, know if we object, do you know if we objected to that, Ms. Segovia? Not that I know of. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's unusual, Mr. Karabitas. Uh, but uh, all right. So 2,500 is approved uh, without objection. I will go ahead and sign the judgment as modified. And uh, Ms. Segovia, uh, thank you so much for your service. I just be aware in the future about that's my policy unless it's something very unusual, medical malpractice or something. Uh, and I don't typically allow it to be given to the attorneys, but given the situation here, that's that's that makes perfect sense. Um, and uh, that's it for this morning. Uh, you guys have a great rest of your day. OK, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Right, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.